Absolutely. I just told you, Kathy, uh, my wife took our flag, uh, brought it back outside this past Sunday, get it ready for the holiday. You were saying that you keep yours out year round. We have Dave Anchel joining us in studio this morning from Elmer's Flag and Banner on Northeast Broadway. And uh, Dave, how about we start right there? Is it appropriate, inappropriate to keep the flag out all year round? What's the theory on that for starters? Well, having your flag outside all year round is fine. Um, you should be using an outdoor flag so that it can stand the weather. And if it's out at night, it should be properly lit. But my husband and I have argued about you take it in during the rain, not, and you say it's a wind thing. It's mostly about the wind and it's not having to do with what the code, the U.S. flag code says. It's more about what's good for your flag and what's respectful for your flag. Good when the winds get above 30 miles an hour, you should bring it in. I never even considered whether or not it was properly lit. Obviously, I should. What, what are some of the other things you should consider to properly display your flag? Well, if it's hanging from a pole, typically it'll be hanging from, this is called the hoist or the header, and the uh, blue field should always be in the upper left side. If you're displaying your flag vertically, it would look like, like this. Got it. Mm -hmm. right. So upper left side, the blue upper field. Upper left side. The upper left side is where the blue field should always be. How about if you're displaying multiple flags? Well, if they're on the same pole, um, the U.S. flag should always be on top. And we get a lot of questions about uh, does it need to be larger than the other flags? And it does not. It just needs to be on top. Got it. Uh, I, I'm just curious about uh, even the display. You're saying that uh, year-round, there are some codes. And who's writing these rules? Are, this is not something Elmer's is coming up with. You're, 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 you're actually pulling these <laughs> but from, Dave from somewhere. But lives by them. Ah, well, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the U.S. flag code started in the, the late 1800s, right after the Civil War. And it's been revised as times have changed. Some things have fallen out of fashion. New ideas have come along. Uh, but the idea is to handle the flag respectfully. Mm -hmm. It's actually supposed to be treated like a person. Uh, so what if your flag becomes damaged, maybe frayed along the edge or torn? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, I, I brought an example. Um, if your flag is starting to look like this. Um, There's a great example on the screen right now, too, with that picture. There you go. Um, if, if uh, as the picture was on the screen, if the fraying is at the end, if you bring it to us, we can cut off uh, the damage at the deepest tear and rehem it. Uh, but if the damage has gone too far, like this flag, if you bring it to us, we will dispose of it properly. How about uh, uh, flying your, your flag at half staff? Uh, when is that appropriate and how is that done the right way? Um, on Memorial Day, it is customary to fly your flag at half staff all morning and then to bring it to uh, full height at lunchtime. I had no idea. That's again in the flag code. It is in the flag code. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the rest of the year, there will be uh, from time to time presidential proclamations when uh, somebody has died or we're trying to honor somebody, like John Glenn, for instance, recently. Interesting. You, you kind of mentioned quickly there, so I could bring a flag to you for disposal and know it's going to be taken care of according to the code? That, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And so, what is that? What do you do with them? Um, the code says that when your flag is no longer a respectful uh, symbol of the, of the country, that it should be disposed of in a respectful manner, preferably by burning. And again, if I have a neighbor who's a Cubs fan, say, and the Cubs win the World Series after 108 years, and he puts the Cubs flag above the American flag at his house, I can go next door and say, that's incorrect. You're doing that wrong. <laughs> yes. The flag for the Cubbies goes again below the American flag. Get Absolutely. him into accordance. <laughs> and, I, and great that Elmer's, when you purchase a flag there, you include instructions mm -hmm. that help you live by the flag code. And if you're wondering where they're located again, you're right there on Northeast Broadway. I want to say 15th. Across from uh, 14th, 14th and yeah. Broadway, across though, I know for sure from one of my favorite restaurants, Milo City Cafe. Right across from Milo. Okay. I'm sure you you'll see a few flags out front. <laughs> Can't miss the place. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dave, for coming in. Thank you. Portland Today continues right after this.